Hello, good afternoon. Um, thank you for joining me on prayer this afternoon. Thank you for joining me. Yeah. Thank you for joining me on prayer. In prayer this afternoon. How are you doing? This morning was such a very powerful time at Next Level Prayer. I hope you can go ahead and watch the video again on YouTube. And yesterday, it was so powerful in the midweek service. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. People sent me messages that how the Holy Spirit touched them in their various countries, just watching online. I was I was really blown away. Let me let me read one of the messages to you. This is really amazing. This is really amazing. Very powerful. You know. Uh, this person said to me, um, good evening, Pastor Bolaji. I was watching the online service this evening. I proclaim that I will receive and believe that I will receive. Then you said, Let us pray in the spirit for the first time. I started to speak in tongues. Next thing, I felt my whole body tighten up as if I was flexing my body and I couldn't move. Then tears started coming out of my eyes. I fell to my I fell to my knees in tears all the while I was speaking in tongues. I believe I've received. Thank you for such a glorious service. That was from yesterday's service. You know, the, the feedback has been phenomenal. The feedback has been phenomenal. This person said, um, this person said, today's music service was indeed full of outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The service was extremely powerful. Watching from home, I can't wait for wine press. Glory to God. It was really good. If you want to watch the service, go back online and watch the service. Go back online and let's watch the service together. You know that. Well, today we're going to read from our default of our devotional. And if you want to get a copy of the devotional, please remember, just download the Harvesters app onto your iOS or Google app and Google Play Store and you can have it. Oh, glory to God. So this today, we're going to just look at the devotional and the team is, and the team is overcoming. Yeah, today's, to, to, the team is overcoming limiting beliefs and mindsets, overcoming limiting beliefs and mindsets. So what we're going to do is to read the word of God and we're going to pray. If you've not shared with your friends, go ahead and share with your friends. Go ahead and share with your friends quickly. Go ahead and share with your friends. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're joining from. Tell me how the fast has been going. If you don't know what to type, just type what we normally say. Grace, grace, grace. This is my story. That's so powerful. Grace, grace, grace. This is my story. So this is what this is. Limiting beliefs are thoughts, conviction, opinion that we believe to be absolutely true that holds us back in some shape. As a result, they prevent us from growing, achieving our goals, taking risks or new opportunity, and they become, and we become people and never become people that God wants us to be. He says, John chapter 11 says that they should, you know, and John chapter 11 says when Jesus went to do a miracle, he told them to remove the stone. And the question is this, I know you're praying, but is there a belief that is hindering your prayer? You're praying that God will bless your marriage, but do you think your marriage can really change? You're praying that God will bless the work of your hand, but you've kept on saying that nothing works in this country. You're praying that God will bless you with great marriage, but you believe that there are no responsible ladies or responsible guys. Your limiting belief has a way of working against your prayers. Don't destroy your prayers by, by the wrong thing. You believe that God will send someone to help you, but you said, I have no helper. So this word it says, once you've identified your limiting belief, you need to start confessing God's word in that area, renewing your mind, for, you know, renew your mind and begin to find yourself thinking in a new way about that area. You know, and there were just scriptures to say that today. Bible speaks of the renewal of the mind and that's the way we replace limiting beliefs. So we replace limiting beliefs by what? By filling our minds with new words. Praise the Lord. We, remit, we replace limiting beliefs by filling our minds with new words. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to pray in a minute. But before we pray, there are just so many things to thank God for. I don't know if you saw my last post. Doing, a, doing next level prayer this morning, there was a word that this today alone, that there will were, there were be three people in the minimum that will receive our profiles. Guess what? Just within three hours of prayer, the first person came. He said, my... My visa was meant to be due some other time. It came in early. Another person said and said, I never knew it will happen this fast. See what the Lord has done for me. Three people came. And I believe that you tap into that, there will just be more that the Lord would do. Glory to God. So we're going to start with Thanksgiving. That's just powerful. 
it's right there on my instagram on my facebook you can go ahead and read the story and build up your faith the reason why we share the testimonies is we want your faith to be built up so we're going to start praying right now the first thing is just to thank god for answering prayers look at what we've just shared right now it's a testimony of god's power and grace let's go ahead and thank god for answering prayers father in the name of jesus christ once again we want to thank you and thank you for you are a good and you are a kind god we want to thank you for answering prayers we want to thank you for answering prayers. Oh God, we'll lift up our voices in thanksgiving because you are good. We want to thank you for answering prayers. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for those approvals. Thank you for the prayers we've started praying since this fasting and prayer began. Thank you because you are answering them already. Thank you because you are answering them already. Thank you because you are answering them already. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, thank you. Lord, I give you praise and glory for answered prayers. Lord, in Jesus' name, you've overwhelmed us with answers. We're grateful, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we're praying. In Jesus' name, we're praying. In Jesus' name, we're praying. I want to read some scriptures to you as we pray today. You know, it's next level prayers. We we'll love to pray Bible based prayers, intensive, that brings about results. Psalm 28 in verse 7. Psalm 28 in verse 7. Someone says, why did your next level tell them it's Bible-based? It brings about results and it's actually intent. This is what the Bible says. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. He said, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him. Verse, verse 6 rather. It said, blessed be the Lord. Psalm 28 verse 6. It said, blessed be the Lord, which heard the voice of my supplication. This is the point of thanksgiving. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for hearing my prayers. Thank you for hearing my prayers. Thank you for hearing my prayers over myself, over my family, over my children, over my career. Thank you for answering my prayers. Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Father, thank you for answering my prayers. Father, thank you for answering my prayers. Father, thank you for doing beyond what I ask for. The Bible says, unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly abundantly far beyond what we can ask or think father thank you our portion oh lord thank you for answering my prayers i lift up my voice to you in thanksgiving father thank you for answering my prayers to the father of, uh, to the father of light in whom there's no darkness father thank you thank you for answering my prayers i'm grateful oh god i'm grateful oh god i'm grateful oh god you've answered me father thank you for everyone connected to this father thank you for answering our prayers in Jesus' name we're praying. In Jesus' name we're praying. In Jesus' name we're praying. Glory to God. Our next prayer is going to be from Revelations chapter 3, which we read this morning during next level. We're just going to take that and begin to declare more things about it. This is what the Bible says. He says, I know the works. Behold, I've set before thee an open door and no man can shut it and you're going to declare that this year is full of open doors for me hallelujah hallelujah you're going to declare in the u.s i have open doors in canada i have open doors in nigeria i have open doors in the tech space i have open doors in the media space i have open doors as a minister of the gospel, I have opened us. Go ahead and declare. This year, I declare as a minister of the gospel, I have opened us. All the countries of the world opens up to us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the countries of the world opens up to us in the name of Jesus. The souls of the little and the big, they open up to us. This year we have opened us by the power of the Holy Ghost. This year we have opened us by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory to God. Everyone type in the comment section. This year, I have opened doors. I have opened doors in every sector, in every country. Hallelujah. Declare, I have opened doors. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I have opened doors globally. This year, I have opened doors globally. This year, I have opened doors globally. In the name of Jesus Christ, this year, I want to type in the comment section. I said, this year, I have opened doors in the name of Jesus Christ. I have opened doors in every nation of the world. I declare it's open unto me. Sectors are open unto me. 
industries are open unto me, cities are open unto me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I have opened us, no man can shut it. I have opened us, declare, type in the comment section. Basically, I have opened us in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter where the doors have been shut, the power of God is opening such doors in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The force of the Spirit, Kurabatoka, Legite Prado Sazudra Gadena, the force of the Spirit is causing open doors to fling open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the industry you're praying in, open doors open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Pastor Kabaya, financial open doors open for you. Jeke Proka Pastor Marita open doors open for you. Leki Pora Shando Kabratea, Ekura Masataya, every kind of open door you desire, they begin to fling open in the name of Jesus Christ by prophetic command. Let open doors open, let 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 doors open in the name of Jesus. And Zopra Kabaya Kabala. Shamana Bora Mana Kora Siata Viviko Panitunai Skonenemen de Kinta Shandi Kumena Vatuasa Hapashto Kabrakata Yagada Everything that used to lock doors against you before such things have been dismantled in the name of Jesus Esomana Kabaya Amakoske Baramana Nesha Bale Matalia Leko Manasto Sabrakata Yagada Open doors for you everywhere in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, everyone type in the comment section, huh? I have open doors. This year is full of open doors for me. Huh? Open doors that cannot be shut in the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The second prayer I'm going to pray is this. Let the zeal of the Lord consume me. You're going to pray for yourself. The zeal for prayer. The zeal for the things of God. Let it consume me. I don't want to be epileptic Christian this year. I don't want to be Look one Christian this year. Let the zeal of the Lord consume it. Lift up your voices and pray, everybody. Losa payo lampone ne la kusha paro skafaratona engrisko ratota. Let the zeal of the house of the Lord let it amata paya. Let it consume me. The zeal for the word of God. The things for the zeal of God. Let it consume me. Let the zeal of the house of the Lord. Ayaka paya gada. Lord, turn me to a man of prayer. Talk, Lord, turn me to a man of prayer. La kapaya gada yagada. E prato na maya gada. Ola mashaka paya. In Jesus' mighty name. My prayer is this for you. That the zeal of the house of God will consume you. That the zeal of the house of the Lord will consume you. In the name of Jesus. If I've not shared with your friends, I want you to go ahead and share quickly. Everyone on the call, go ahead and share with your friends. Invite them. We just have about three more minutes to pray. Invite them to join the prayers quickly. Invite them to join the prayers quickly. Either you have big following or first small following. It doesn't matter. Share the links with your friend quickly. This is the prayer I'm going to pray. Father, train me for leadership. Father, train me for leadership. Someone put it in the comment section. Father, train me for leadership in my sector, in my industry, in my community. All of you that are in diaspora, in the place where you have moved to, Father, train me for leadership. Ah, I refuse to be average. The Bible says, I'm the head, not the tailor. I'm above only the beneath. Father, train me for leadership. Ah, lift up your voice like a trumpet towards heaven. Ah, Lord, I volunteer myself. Train me for leadership. Expand my capacity for leadership. Train me for leadership. I'm praying, Lord God, train me for leadership. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And Zoma Nakaya Yagada, La Cabana Manamana, La Patone Makesco Bragade, Eclomen Crestella Regadona Matia, Shabala Bragataya, you are going to begin to declare. 
This declaration, I want everyone to type it. As soon as you type it and I see your name, I'm going to call your name and agree with you. And this is a declaration. I relocate from average to excellence. Hallelujah. Declare with this year, I relocate from average to excellence. In Jesus' name, my business relocate from average to excellence. My marriage relocate from average to excellence. My finances relocate from average to excellence. My career relocate from average to excellence. I declare that this year, I relocate from average to excellence. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to begin to type and declare that this year, my shut up, this year, I relocate from average to excellence. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm agreeing, I'm, I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing with Poju, I'm agreeing with um, um, Juliana, I'm agreeing with everyone I start I'm Benita, in the name of Jesus, Emily, I'm agreeing with you in the name of Jesus Christ, that as you have started, you are, you're my copaya, you are moving from average to excellence in every field, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm agreeing with Big Timmy, I'm agreeing with you that you are moving from average to excellence, in the name of Jesus Christ, from this hour, from this hour, everything begins to pick up, everything begins to triple, Everything begins to take a leap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm agreeing with Nara. I'm agreeing with Kashida. I'm agreeing with KG. You are moving from average to excellent. Ah, la shushe mataya. Prophesy. I said prophesy that this year I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of this level. I don't know if you're tired of where you are, but enough is enough at this financial level. Enough is enough at this marital level. Enough is enough for this family. We are moving from average to excellence. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to type beta. Shabeka la brakata sota ya. E kisto robo kumana tozaza. E kreta ne sheke baya. I move, 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 move. I shaka ba. Every crawling destiny move. Every crawling career move. Every crawling finances move. I declare you are moving. You are moving. You are moving. You are moving by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name we pray. Oh glory to God. As we close the prayer, if you have not written the comment section, I want to write it quickly. I'm moving from average to excellence. Now my finance is moving from average to excellence. My career is moving from average to excellence. My job is moving from average to excellence. Huh? The places where I could not get to before, grace takes me there. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare it's moving right now. La boro sukane marate egere to shade legone taraswa egresto prata ya gataha alasu juleke degede elemano kuriva sandolo mataya. You are moving from average to excellence. In the name of Jesus Christ, huh? I declare over you today, bashuka pana mataya, that this year you move. Ah, I say your career moves. Huh? Your spiritual life moves, uh, your ministry moves, uh, your work moves, uh, your finance moves uh, from effort to excellence. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. When people are looking for you where you used to be, you will not be there. You will have relocated from effort to excellence. Either you are in Canada, either you are in Nigeria, either you are in Ghana, either you are in Kenya, either you are in Rwanda, either you are in South Africa. Either in the UK, either you're in Europe, I declare that you have moved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that you have moved. Shaka Pale Susaparada. By the reason of this prayer, I declare you have moved in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare your career has moved, your job has moved, your file has moved, your case has moved, your marriage has moved. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sabane Korabashane Matalamana. Le bonne casuze le brekete le dune masazi ala alama no kate la bashata yagada araba shakata I stretch out my hands towards you and declare you have moved by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name we pray Amen Amen once again I want to thank you for joining this time of prayer it was so intense it was so intense remember that remember that if you want to join any of the harvesters group NLP group in the UK in London in the US in Canada in Dubai in South Africa, in Kenya, Zimbabwe, send me a message and let me know you want to join. This book, The Devotional to Go With Your Prayer, is available right now. Download the Harvesters app and you'll see there. Just download the Harvesters app. You'll see there. Download the Harvesters app. You will see there. Glory to God. You have moved from average to excellence by the power of the Holy Ghost. There will be no bad news this year. Listen to me. Can I pray a final prayer for you? You will not make the mistakes you made last year. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not make the same mistakes you made last year. Grace and mercy will speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. If this bless you, tag your friends, share with your friends. They can watch the full prayers on YouTube at um, Harvesters TV. If you don't follow me, go ahead and follow me on this channel. It's going to be powerful. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.